everyone, so today I thought I would do a gold smoky eye look with two lip options, a dark lip and a nude lip. I've not done a gold look on my channel, so I thought why not do this today. So if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more makeup tutorials, fashion, things like that, please subscribe if you haven't already as I will be uploading a lot more videos. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and you will see me barefaced in three, two, one. Just taking a tapered long fluffy brush. This is from Spectrum. So taking the Zoeva Cocoa Blends, which FYI is my favorite, one of my favorite palettes. This shade, which is Substitute, oh my God, I can't speak. Substitute for Love. Boom, did it. This is like a light, warm brown. It's quite an orangey warm brown shade, it's gorgeous. And this is going to act like my transition colour. So I'm just going to blend this through my crease. Let me know if you really like um, to see more of my makeup tutorials. I do love filming makeup tutorials and yeah, I just love it. So if you would like to see more makeup, um, chatty, get ready with me, things like that. Please let me know because I'll definitely do more of them because I don't really do them but I personally love long chatty videos. I love watching, um, oh for God's sake, I was watching her last night. Oh, I forgot her name but I'll basically put her name on the screen right now and you should check her channel out, it's amazing. She's from Manchester which is really, really local to me and yeah, she used to work at Mac and her videos are one of my favourites to watch because um, she does 20 minute long tutorials of just chatting and doing makeup which is my favourite and it's like you could just have a cup of tea or watch her and it's just amazing so I don't know I just feel like long chatty videos doing your makeup is actually more relaxed I'm just basically building up the colour in my crease up to the standard eye light and as you can see it's quite orange now, like it's really built up the colour, but at first it's quite pale, so. But I love long tapered brushes, they're one of my favourite brushes to use. I'm just diffusing the colour. So now I've built up the colour to the standard I like, I'm just going to take the same shade again, and don't use much many colours in this. And I'm basically just putting this on the lid but this shade is if you see me wearing a lot of warm smoky eyes this is the majority of the palettes I use so this which is my favourite Naked Basics Naked Ultimate Basics even and the Zoeva Cocoa Blends I wear warm brown smoky eyes so much like it's an addiction <laughs> I think w wearing this all the time is just one of my favourite looks It came to a point where I never used to wear orange or warm brown shades. I used to be terrified of it, but now I'm like the total opposite and all the way. It's orange shades and the brighter the better. And it's so mad how makeup, you, you change with your makeup because I used to be terrified. I could never use a palette with a slight warm brown. And now I love wearing orange, so I don't know. I just think it suits me because of my eye colour. Because my eye colour is quite greeny blue and it really makes my eye colour pop. And I've got something in my eye. Where do you... Blow it. My dog's hair in my eye is so gross. My headband keeps slipping. I'm obsessed with pom-poms. My life should be just one big pom-pom. I'm just going to take the same orange shade and put it on the lid. And just this on its own, it is so pretty. Like. I go out a lot of the time with just orange all over my lid and I think it looks so nice with, you can pair it with any lip and I think that what, that's what makes it different. Like I wear a lot of, um, at the moment I'm obsessed with orange eyes and cool toned lips. It's so simple but looks, I don't know, really edgy. It is really nice and it's one of my favourite looks at the moment. I'm going to the Zoeva Coco Blends again, this is like the main palette I'm going to be using. And I'm taking this dark brown shade, which is called Beans Are White. 
very nice. This is a dark brown shade and I also mix it with freshly toasted, this warm ready brown. If I mix them together it makes like a dark red brown, a pretty dark brown but I want this slight warmth in it so it doesn't look black. So I'm just almost using, I'm using um, a Real Techniques Angle Brush and I'm literally just packing it on in the inner outer corner like I have here. Obviously I don't go too dark with this colour because I don't think it really needs it. It's quite a light sh orange shade, I don't want to go too dark. I'm just taking the same brush on my other hand <laughs> and I'm just going to basically blend. It's like I'm almost pressing it into the lash line and then smoking it out with this. Now I've added a bit of depth on the outer corner. You won't get with it, orange is like the new black. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it is true because I love orange at the moment. So I'm going to take in the same shade as I did before, the dark brown shade. Um, beans are white. What are they? What are they white? I do not know. I thought beans were black, or maybe they are white. This is on a Zoeva winged liner brush. I'm basically lining up the edge of my eye and then dragging it down. And then what I do is I sharpen it up with the concealer. Now I'm going to take some concealer and sharpen the edge up. And I last it. So I'm going to take in my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. Right. Now I'm taking another winged liner brush and lining the edge of it. Now I've sharpened up my edges of my liner. Now time for the glitter, which is like one of my favourite parts. Who doesn't love glitter? Obviously not me, because I love it. So for glitter, I'm actually taking a gel eyeliner, which is it's a collection gel. No, it's not. It's the Collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner. And these are amazing. They're only 2 dollars which is a bargain as well. So these are like the dupe of the Urban Decay Glitter Eyeliners. They're just like them as well. So I'm basically just going to put this, like I have here, on the centre of the lid and basically blend out. So I'm basically just building this glitter up. If you have an eyeshadow that isn't glitter but you want to add glitter, and it doesn't affect the colour, it makes it just more, the colour looks even more amazing. This is the perfect one because it doesn't, the colour shows through and you're basically adding glitter to the colour that you like. So this works well with mattes, satin, eyeshadows, everything. And I use this so much and yeah, I just think they're amazing. I use this so much over Christmas and it just looked amazing. And it basically just looks like you've just put glitter pigment when it's not. It's this and this doesn't budge. So for $2.99, definitely check these out. This is in the shade 3 Funk and it's gorgeous gold. It's a gold, it's gold. Oh, I just love it. I just love how well it goes with the eyes. Now I've done my eyes, I did go off camera to do some winged eyeliner. I thought it would go really nice and finish the look a bit more. So for mascara I'm going to be using the Volume Million So Couture by L'Oreal. I do normally use roller lash, like all the time, but I thought I'd change it up and this is really good mascara so I am going to coat my lashes with this and I hope this works. <laughs> Sometimes I find eyelashes one of my pet hates, like doing my mascara is one of my worst things because my eyes are just so annoying. They can clump so easy, they can not look volumised. If I could, I'd love to not wear mascara. <laughs> I need to find some lashes. I did have um, LVL lashes. Which, if you don't know what LVL lashes is, it's where they basically perm your eyelashes. There's no eyelash extensions, it's basically just a perm, but, but for your eyelashes. And oh my god, it's the best thing I did. I did it in the start of December, and now my eyelashes aren't nowhere near as good. But it does last for a good few weeks, and um, like it was still looking amazing at the end of December. And then obviously eventually it just flopped. <laughs> 
but I do miss having LVL lashes. Um, oh god, I can't explain how good they were. I'll definitely be going back because I enjoyed it. It's really good and relaxing, like you get on a bed and it's quite dark and it's nice. And then they basically put, you've got to close your eyes for the whole hour, I think it is, or half an hour, something like that. It is one of the hardest things to do. You'd never think closing your eyes would be hard. Oh, wait until you try it. It is impossible, Matt. I can't do it. I actually can't close my eyes without falling asleep. And it was really hard when she was, um, obviously she's doing rhymes and you want to look, don't you, when, when you talk and stuff. So it was, it was really hard to do that. But now I know what to expect. I'm definitely going to go back because I miss it. And now my eyes have gone back to the usual stupid self. I'm definitely going to go back and get them done again because it is nice. And I would actually really like to try eyelash extensions because I love wispy, fluttery lashes. So... Maybe in the future I might go for some eyelash extensions. You never know. Um, because my eyelashes are truly terrible. Like, I can't stand them. I just, oh, it's like one of my frustrations. My eyelashes are just awful. They're just so stumpy. Like, they can be so long, but they just don't want to be long at the same time. So now I've done my mascara and my eyelashes are looking stubby as hell. I'm just going to look past that and think, ooh! Now I'm going to be doing foundation. And if you know me or you've been here for, since I started, which has been a bit on and off, I'm sorry. But I will be doing more. I'm going to upload every week, at least twice a week. And if you have followed me for as long as I started, you will know my foundation of choice I always, always use is... The MAC Studio Fix. The MAC Studio Fix is amazing. I do love this foundation. And yeah, I've, only, I've just bought a new foundation at the moment. And it's the MAC Studio Sculpt because I want to try something different. It's medium to full coverage, which is perfect because I have freckles and I want to cover them. Because I'm that kind of person. I've not actually used a brush in ages for my foundation. I constantly use... Um, the Real Techniques Complexion complexion Sponge, I think, maybe, I don't know. I just call it the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And that is amazing, I love that. And I've got little concealer ones as well. So using a brush for the, like, for the first time in ages is mad. If there is any videos you'd like me to film, I'd like to see, I don't know, challenges, makeup looks, um, I don't know, certain trends, like certain tr fa makeup trends, I don't know, just let me know and I'll do it. Like people recommending me video ideas, as I obviously don't want to just do things that I like as well, I want something that everyone enjoys. So I've got a few ideas, I might be doing, I'm definitely doing MAC collection, MAC collection, MAC lipstick collection. i thinking of doing a makeup collection because behind me I have the Alex no, I don't. I have the IKEA mom drawer um, or dresser, and down here, I can't really point to it. Down there is my drawer full of makeup, and I'm going to get some new storage. And once I've got new storage, I will film it because at the moment, I hate how it looks in there. So I'm going to get new storage, put it all in, and then do a makeup collection because. I think the safe one to film. Also like to start doing um review videos this year, like reviews on I don't know certain products. Oh my god! So I'm gonna be taking my concealers because obviously I am a high maintenance gal and I don't like one. I like using multiple concealers. So I'm using the collection lasting perfection one first because this is the lightest shade because I'm pale, obviously. I'm so pale. They forgot to get a concealer brush. So I am just using my Expert Face Brush, which I use from the foundation. Now for the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is amazing. This is in the lightest shade again, but this is a lot lighter than... It's slightly lighter than my skin shade. I love it for brightening under my eyes and also... I love doing, um, I like to highlight here to make it look like I've got contour. It's like a cheap way of doing contour. Basically gonna blend 
blend down. Because this is this concealer is slightly more fair than my own skin colour, it makes my skin colour look a bit darker where my cheekbones is. Obviously it just gives the illusion of I've got cheekbones when I haven't. <laughs> a girl can only dream. I'm going to be powdering with the Rimmel Lasting Finish Powder. This is quite full coverage. I'm going to be using a Real Technique stippling brush and basically stippling. Don't rub, I'm just, I don't like rubbing because I don't want it to move my foundation and basically stippling it on. I'm just putting a bit under my eyes. And I'm going to be taking my MAC, my MAC uh, Brow Duo, and this is in the shade Brunette, I think. Yeah, br Brunette. This is the best thing I got. I did use the Anastasia and I am using the same brush before because I forgot the other brush. I'm so professional. Um, yeah, I did use the Anastasia the brow pomade and in the end I got quite sick of it because it just looked too, too drawn on. So that is my brows done. I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer because it is one of the best bronzers I have. I feel like Benefit do the bronzers so darn good. You can't go wrong with Benefit's brows and bronzers. The bronzer and the brows are amazing. And Benefit is like literally my favourite place to go for my eyebrows. Now, I've not had them done for ages actually, but last time I had it done was 19th of December. Yeah. So I'm due to get them done pretty soon. But yeah, I love the people at Benefit are just one of the loveliest people and also if you do get your brows done very regular like I do, and if you don't know and you're a regular like myself, you can download the Benefit eyebrow app and every time you go in and buy obviously get your eyebrows done, you get a stamp and on each on you get so many stamps and you get free tin. So only the once you get all the stamps, you get a free full size Gibby Brow. But if you don't know, this is like Gibby Brow is like one of my favourite products. Nothing will have the standards of that. And I've tried everything, I've tried the next one. It's just nowhere near as good, and Benefit does the brow as well. So definitely get the app if you haven't, because then it will also you'll get little bonus. You, the more you have your eyebrows done, the more things you get for free, which is amazing. So next time I go, I can get a free tint so I'm only paying a wax which is amazing so yeah I like that good on your benefit and honestly I love benefits eyebrow thing or oh, just benefit eyebrows I love it I don't know what I'd be doing without benefits eyebrows so for highlight I'm going to be using the balm the balm Mary Luminizer this is this is amazing it is such a lovely highlight I'm gonna do two lip options I'm gonna start with the lightest obviously MAC Yash and MAC Antique Velvet. So starting off with Yash. So before I put on lipstick, I got a routine of putting foundation on my lips. Um, that used to be a trend, why? But this was at, this is actually just for a hack. Putting foundation on your lips basically can, makes a canvas. So it, it takes away your natural lip colour so it won't affect the lip stick colour against your natural lip colour it just helps to cancel any of the pink underneath oh you know what i'm digging this lipstick oh my god i'm obsessed i've rediscovered a favorite again oh i'm basically using concealer to outline my lips because i like how it looks So this is the finished makeup look with lip option number one, which is MAC Yash, a nude peachy lip, which I think ties in quite well with the eyes because it's warm, it's peachy, but more of a warm tone, and yeah, this is the makeup look with Riyash. <laughs> so this is the second lip option. This is MAC Antique Velvet. And I thought, why not use it in a tutorial that is using gold so the eyes? 